Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to update the firmware in your Stingray. You need to update the firmware as soon as you get it, that way you know you have the latest firmware in your model. What we're going to need is a computer with internet connection, a USB to mini USB, and then of course your model with the TG Multi in it and a battery for power. We're going to start by going to curtisyoungblood.com under quad rotors, see pr products, quad rotors, Stingray 500. And you're going to scroll down to the bottom. Near the bottom we have downloads. It may be in a different locations, there may be other items in here, but within downloads you need TG Multi Firmware. There may also be another link later that says TG Multi Firmware Update, but it should definitely be down here in the, T in the downloads. So you click on your TG Multi Firmware. It's downloading it. I'm going to show it in the folder. And what I do is I copy it copy the folder and go wherever you want to and I create a new folder for Stingray. So whenever I get a new update I can bring it in here. Paste it in. Once it's in there you just need to unzip it. Extract it here. Extracted all the files you need. Now the main file you're going to need is the DS Loader GUI. That's that's the interface that's going to help you connect to the model. Before you open that, you want to plug in your USB to the computer. Plug in the other end to the TG Multi. And you want to power on the TG Multi. You don't need your transmitter on, just the TG Multi. Make sure the red light comes on so you know you're getting, getting power. And what this is doing is we're powering it up so that they'll see the USB port when you open the GUI. Double click it. Go ahead and run it. This is the interface. This is the file you're going to write to it. Now you need to do is try to go find the port that relates to this, this version. Now see it's not showing up. So that means that we need to close this back down again. Try unplugging it replugging it. Finding the port the very first time is usually the hardest thing. Once you've found it, it should pop up every other time. See, there it is. So that's your port. So everything's ready to go. You put your cursor over the right, but you don't push it yet. What you do is you power side, you power off the TG Multi. Everything's ready here. You power it on, and within three seconds of powering it on, you need to hit the right button to get it to start the program. So you power it on, push and it's saying it now it's writing. Writing flash. This bar will go all the way across to say it's finished. So we wait till that's complete. Okay, we're getting to the end here now. It says write successfully completed. If it didn't successfully complete, you can do it over and over again as many times as you need to to get it to write. If you didn't hit write soon enough and it doesn't work, you can power it off and do it again. You just again need to hit write within three seconds of plugging it in. It's now, it's complete, we finished. So we can unplug the model, unplug the port, uh, you can finish now doing all the rest of the setup uh, with the TG Multi and the Stingray.